is it conscious of your customer? So this is kind of sad, really. So this video, um, how Apple brainwashes you, um, he's absolutely true about everything he says. Talking about the guy who had a kidney removed so he could buy an iPad and a iPhone in India. Well, listen, there's always going to be fucking idiots like that, okay? Um, but this guy is completely and totally missing the point, okay? So I'm going to offer you a phone of your choice for free. What's it going to be? Yeah, the fucking list is small, isn't it? This is one of the striking symptoms of capitalism is a lack of competition for the consumer. You see, if Huawei was allowed to sell their phones in the United States, who do you think stopped that from happening? Apple spies on me every motherfucking day. Google spies on me every fucking day. I could give a shit if the fucking Chinese government does the same thing that the American companies do. I could fucking care less. I have nothing they want. I'd like to have a highway. See? These people get their, they get their operating systems and everything is basically locked down to a point where you don't have any fucking choices. You can get a Samsung phone or a, or a Google phone, all the same fucking Android system. Or you can get an Apple phone, iOS system. You see, in a true commercial market, we would have at least 10 manufacturers making phones, making tablets, with different operating systems that competed against one another to be better, not to be meaty fucking ochre, okay? For the last 15 years, my phone has not been able to understand a goddamn thing I say when it comes to voice to text. Not a damn thing. It struggles. So much for AI, huh? American business, they love their fucking monopolies. They love their monopolies. People don't understand that originally we had one fucking oil company, one. And the wife of a man who tried to start an oil company, okay, she was the reason that Standard was broken up. That's a whole nother story, by the way. Okay, Apple, Apple, the, the, there's only one thing that I appreciate about my Apple phone. No, actually, there's two. Number one, it is my intercom system in my house, which basically any phone can do. Okay? Number two, they allow me to stop people from fucking tracking me, but I still have to run a VPN. Apple comes out every year with another phone. Every fucking year, okay? When you go out and spend $1,000 for a TV, do you shit can that TV next year and go get another one? And then shit can that TV and go get another one? I'm just asking. If you buy a $1,000 fucking baseball glove, do you shit can that baseball glove every year and go get a new one? You see, Apple has brainwashed a bunch of fucking people. Oh, look, we've got five more pixels in our camera. And then we're going to obsolete your phone as soon as we can. I'm used to it in, with the gaming industry, okay? Um, Polyphony, Sony's going to turn off the servers for Gran Turismo Sport in 24. Why? Because no one wants their fucking get new game. So they make you do it. You see, we should have some rules in place. I believe if I buy a fucking game, okay, if they're going to have the right to turn that server off whenever they want, then I should be able to play the full and complete game offline. System link or LAN with another unit, okay, 
without Sony or Polyphony interfering whatsoever. The American marketplace is just a, a fucking shithole, is what it is. It's a shithole. The American marketplace is a commercial, is a, is, is a cesspit of basically commercialized monopolies that the government lets them get allowed with, allows them to have f for certain reasons, okay? Especially Windows operating systems, right? I always talk about every terrorist on the planet that opens up his fucking laptop thinks that the government isn't watching what he's doing. What a fucking joke. But you see, there are certain things, you know, there, there are secrets that the government sometimes will allow terrible things to happen, like in warfare. They will allow terrible things to happen, like when we broke the code, uh, the Enigma sh machine for, for, the, for the Germans when we were trying to stop the submarines, okay? We would let whole convoys get fucking blown to shit so that the Germans wouldn't figure out that we had cracked the Enigma machine. That's kind of how the fucking marketplace is in the United States right now. It's a fucking cesspool of monopoly. I should have, there should be 20 people making phones right now that, that are in competition with Apple. Nope, Apple stopped that shit right now. First thing they do is they go and they capture the labor market in another country where they take advantage of their population to make the phone as cheap as fucking possible, okay? So they can then turn around and sell it to us for as expensive as possible. And you go, well, well, they only made $30 billion this year. Those poor guys, they only made $30 billion this year. Right? <laughs> The control, the fucking control that Apple has over my devices, okay? If I want to save a copy, if I want to, if, anything that I want to do, I have to go to my fucking PC, I have to allow iTunes on my computer, and then I have to allow uh, iTunes to access all my fucking shit, okay? Because it's proprietary, 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 proprietary. This is why they fought the USB-C cord for so long so they could sell you lightning cables, okay? A A Apple is a disgusting piece of shit company. They really are, okay? Um, Microsoft and Windows, a complete fucking cesspool of monopolization of a market that should be free. Everyone should have the right to go to their computer and find out any piece of information they want. But what happens? You can, I don't care what operating system you use, okay? Um, unless you want to go someplace really fucking obscure, then I would say, what, 90% of the fucking population is using Windows, right? They turn you into a product without your permission. The government allows this to happen. They control everything about it. Now, when I got Windows 7, everything was in there. Windows 7 was a complete operating system. When I got Windows 10, it wouldn't even, it would barely play a fucking JPEG video. There was, it was an empty shell of a fucking operating system that they then wanted me to buy everything to make it function in a reasonable way. Yeah, capitalism, okay? It's, capitalism is, is a disgusting pile of shit. It serves no one but the top 1%. And really, they have a system put in place where there's no off-ramps. There is, there is no way for us to correct these problems. You, you, you might as well try to stop fucking breathing. There is zero way for us to stop what these companies and the United States government has allowed to happen. Why? 
Well, because those same fucking companies have bought and paid for your representatives, your congressmen, your senators, okay? When it comes to Windows, um, you see the CIA, the NRO, all, all of these groups, they love the fact that fucking Windows being used by all these foreign agencies. You see, this is why China wants their own operating system and how the fuck can you blame them? See, I'd love to have a Huawei phone because that is a badass fucking machine. It's every bit as good as an iPhone, maybe better, okay? Um, I'd, like to, I'd like for all these companies to stop turning me into products. Every time I open up my anything, my phone, my iPad, it's, Oh, 99 fucking uh, people tried to target you and this many people tried to contact this many people and yeah. And the majority of right up the top of the fucking list, Google. Because our government wants it the way it is. See? We're fucked. We're basically fucked. We're fucked. There's no way this is ever, ever going to be fixed. That's the sad part. That's why I'm making this video. Because if I can't at least talk about it, okay, it's, it's, it sticks right here and disturbs me. It, uh, the, the reality of the situation sticks right here like a fucking thorn in my brain. So thank God I can at least use Google to put a video on YouTube saying Google sucks. At least that hasn't been taken away yet. Dongles. Let's change the fucking, oh my God, fucking Apple. And the, you know, we should have had USB-C a long time ago, but they fought it and they fought it and they fought it. Luckily, the European Union, they're like, nah, kiss my ass. We're not the United States, and you don't own our senators, you don't own our congressmen, and you don't own our representatives for their representative governments, okay? That's how they got it passed. That's why their privacy rules are stronger than ours. It's not because Americans want it less. It's because our senators, congressmen, and representatives are bought and fucking paid for by the very companies that we, we need and rely on to run our everyday lives. You know what I'd like to see one day? I would like to see 10 million people in the United States put a mask on that was a fucking Apple logo with a fucking circle and a red line through it. <laughs>